All right, everybody's quiet. Okay. And Kelsey. I just thought you were on the red eye. We are in LA and we are shooting the short film for Rolling Up the Welcome Mat. And it's a film that I wrote alongside a record that I wrote and I'm really proud of and I'm doing it with Pat. Me and you! Woo! And it's gonna be an emotional day. I'm just trying to be really efficient. Shots that are really intentional. Yeah. And, and really nice slow push-ins and push-outs. Very yeah. cinematic and like yeah. live in a, in a frame for a, like a while. It's all, it's all about the emotion and the delivery. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And yeah, I think the long, like the long... Single takes. Yeah, yeah. those are like, those hurt more. Mm -hmm. Agree. Yeah. Cool. So I'll sit down here. Oh, that's cool. cool. And I'll just kind of like get my, my bearings, you know? I think you're already sitting. Okay. Because we have that shot. Okay. Walking in, I think that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I'll pour it from the this yep, to this. Yep. So this is pretty. And, like, look and I'll curl ring. up in. I'll, oh yeah, that. Yeah. I'll curl up in the chair. I'll have some coffee. Great. Great. Yeah. And then maybe I come back. And then I'm gonna eat a piece of bread second chorus and not sing. Great, great. So actions will be during chorus, not sing to camera until I think this is over. I'm a director. So. I'm in a director's chair looking at the monitors. I realize you love me much more at 23. I think that this is when it's over for me. They're crying in there. I think that this is when I set myself free. Oh my god. When was it over for you? We just finished Mount with a view, and now we're going back down for, I think, the most emotional part of the day, which is just married. And it is full of metaphors. Um, and this is where we meet the male counterpart in this video. I'm taking a shot of tequila before I go down, because <laughs> I'm 100% that bitch. And I'm wearing a white dress and a ring, and I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. So basically, I start with two two plates in my hands, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. And the whole time I'm singing the camera, mm -hmm. deadpan, and you're essentially just adding plates to your my hands. Head. Him coming in, and at first he like I have his attention, and he kisses me on the cheek and adds the plates, mm -hmm. and then he's on the phone, mm -hmm. so he's distracted and then adds the plates. <laughs> They break. Give it on the first pad. I'll show you what we kind of talked through, and then if you have any adjustments, by all means. Cool. How are you feeling? You good? Yeah. So good. So good. Yeah, like this is like the last moment where it's like there's like anything left. Yeah, but you can see it. Like, yeah, you're like, it's like, you're the, holding it's like on. the last like, yeah, that's yeah. why I was like, I like grabbed his shoulder because yeah. I was like, it's like the last mm -hmm. moment, you know? And I love that you can't see his face. Oh, yeah. It just feels like it's like, yeah, it's the figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like there's like a desperation. Mm -hmm. his vision or in the like the mood board there's this picture of a hand reaching up during penthouse and you know, I end on the couch and you see my hand pop up from the couch and I'm gonna have a big ring on and you just see like and it's like me like reaching up for help like drowning right you just see his hand come in straight down the right and walk out it hurts is it freezing not bad not bad you okay not bad it's not great
Did it look sick at least? Yeah, it really did. Uh, How do you feel? Uh, liberated. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, if yeah. we if we can have, I just want to have like five anchoring moments in that mm -hmm. song where it's like you you flip, I flip. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like maybe the verses are way more slow and steady. Like it's just you flip to one side while he's to the other. Yeah. And then when the chorus hits, it like goes to the wide shot. And it's like, it, it's sort of the Are we going to do an overshot for that too? Yeah. Yeah. Tacos, tell me I'm going to taco after this. Tacos, tacos, tacos. Okay. So one thing not a lot of people know is that we tried to film the entire short film in one day, which was very overzealous of us. And so we got cut off after two takes of Blindsided. Chaos. We had to shut down production. This is like when you're in middle school and you're like fooling around for the- Oh, fuck me, okay. So all of the wide shots where you see us in the bed, those were the only two takes that we could do. And so we had the rest of Blindsided and Leave Me Again to do. We ended up doing it, I had like half a day off in Nashville. We found the same bedding in a similar bed frame and a guy that kind of had the same jaw and scruff as the, the main actor in the short film in Nashville. And we did all of our close-ups um, in Nashville like a week later. And blindsided, if you actually look closely, which you will now, you will see lots of, we faked it hard. Leave Me Again was kind of the last thought in the process because the whole EP takes you through, you know, all the stages of grief. You're angry, you're sad, you're going back and forth with why things happened the way it did. And then there's a resolution when you heal. Like that's part of being able to move forward with your life. And Leave Me Again was a song I wrote around Christmas time where I was starting to feel more peace amongst all the chaos that was still happening. Um, but I was feeling like I was letting go of any kind of anger or sadness. And I was starting to find real joy in my life again. Yeah, hope I never leave me again. Rolling Out the Welcome Mat, the EP, was like the most healing, cathartic project and body of music I've ever made. The short film was something that I kind of decided to do really randomly and swan dove into with an amount of vulnerability I've never really ever um, shown before, and it's the thing I'm the most proud of. I feel like between the short film, writing everything, co-producing everything, co-directing, I just have a new appreciation for my art and my truth and sharing it and getting creative in the ways that I do. And I just think that I'll make music differently forever now. <laughs>